Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a story of a man who found out his wife has been cheating on him with a co-worker. And this is what he finally did. Here's the full story with three updates. I, 35 male, have been married to my wife, 37 female, for 7 years and we were together another 3 before that. We had a daughter, 5 female. On the outside our marriage appears to be perfect. She and I own a nice house with a good school district, have a great kid and both work full time. Her job requires her to do some travel and wants her in the office 3 days a week. My job does not pay as well but I work completely remote and spend a lot of time talking my daughter to soccer or doctor's appointments as well as keeping up around the house. Before anyone asks this is not a weight gain issue. I am active and fit and my wife is the same. For the past 4 or so years my wife has shown basically no interest in our marriage and acts more like my roommate than partner. We have basically no romance or intimacy. When I say intimacy, I know some people will jump to sex, but to me intimacy means acting like a couple. Hand-holding, kisses, cuddling and obviously sex. None of those are really things my wife wants to do and makes it painfully obvious that she isn't interested. Before she and I were very much an amazing couple. My wife also shows no interest in my life. She has forgotten important events like our anniversary and my birthday. Our last anniversary she said she needed to cancel the dinner plans I made for the two of us because she had to work late on a Friday and travel for work the following week. I brought this up to my therapist who suggested couples therapy and is willing to give some recommendations. I brought this up to my wife who immediately shut it down saying there's nothing wrong with me, I don't need therapy. I have made multiple suggestions to her for how we can possibly improve our relationship. Family vacation. Our daughter won't appreciate it. I don't see why 5 year old wouldn't want to go to the beach for a couple days but maybe I'm wrong. A romantic getaway for just her and I. No I'm too busy at work. Or can't we just spend time together at home? Taking our daughter on a bike ride and going out to lunch on a weekend. I want to just relax. So I gave up trying to initiate anything with her and recently began looking for an out. I watched my parents in a failing marriage for a decade and don't want to put my child through that. I talked to a lawyer and got papers ready and can buy a condo in town to keep our daughter in the same school district with her friends since I can't afford our house by myself. I recently confronted my wife when our daughter was at a playdate. I told her that I am seriously considering leaving her since I feel as though I don't matter to her and our relationship is never a priority to her. I told her I have an exit plan and if she doesn't make changes by the new year I am going to file for divorce and full custody. She and I got into a big fight where she basically told me I was manipulative and an idiot for blindsiding her like that. I told her that none of this would be an issue if she cared about us or at least pretended to. I told her I don't want our daughter to see how unhealthy our relationship is. All of this happened yesterday. So Reddit, am I the idiot for what I said to my wife and our argument after? Edit, I have brought up my concerns about our marriage to her multiple times. Things usually improve for a short while but are quickly back to the status quo in a week or two. Edit 2, your wife has checked out of the marriage and is probably just shocked that you still care about anything and demand to be anything other than roommates. It's one of three things, she's fallen out of love but is sticking around for your kid, financial reasons. 2, she's defined herself as asexual and has no requirements for intimacy. Or 3, she's been using her nights out with the girls as cover for having an affair hence the complete lack of care, intimacy, as she's getting it elsewhere. I guess all three of those are possible. The first would make sense because she makes way more than I do. The second one is probably what I'm hoping for. It would be the least painful. The third one is probably my worst case and I really really don't want it to be what is happening. I've spent 10 years with her and having it thrown away like that is the most depressing thing I can imagine. Hi everyone. First of all thank you for all of your replies and messages. I received a ton and haven't been able to reply to them all. It has been a crazy couple of weeks unfortunately. My marriage is over and after talking to my wife I realize it has been for a long time. The day after my post, I began the divorce process with my lawyer. Everyone who said I was an idiot for saying I was going to get full custody, that is true. I was angry, frustrated and said something I shouldn't have. We are going to split custody with me having the weekdays and my wife having weekends. That said, everyone who said she was cheating, congratulations you were right. She has been for around 4 years now, which is about the time she started withdrawing from our marriage. She has been cheating with this coworker because she felt like she was not attractive after having a child and I was busy with work and childcare. More recently, she has begun to develop feelings for him and was considering leaving me for him which she is now free to do. 
When I gave her the ultimatum she was surprised that I was considering leaving her and thought I knew about her affair at the time. We sat our daughter down and explained that we are splitting up but we both love her more than anything. My daughter was understandably upset and is having a tough time. I am looking into therapy options for my daughter and told her that she can always tell me how she is feeling. This is the hardest part of everything so far. My wife and I are going to be geographically close. I'm going to be moving into a condo in early January and my wife is going to move in with her coworker about 15 minutes away. With the sale of our house I will be able to pay off a large portion of my new home. According to the lawyer we can have everything wrapped up by New Year's if it goes smoothly but with the holidays I'll be happy with early January. In the meantime I'm going to start rebuilding my life. I did not get married with the intention of getting divorced but here we are. I am going to work on myself and my relationship with my daughter, starting with a vacation. I am going to surprise her with a trip to Disney this winter. It will be expensive but I really want to make her happy and create some happy memories. I'm going to miss her on weekends. Maybe one day I'll explain this all to her when she is an appropriate age and we can talk about it more. In the meantime I am going to work on myself and try to be the best version of me that I can. I don't know what the future holds but I guess I'll know eventually. I am sorry in advance if this is not the right format or place to post this. I was told by a commenter in another thread about this community, and I hope that you all can serve as a resource for me in the coming months. I am currently in the early stages of a divorce. My wife was checked out of our marriage for the past four years and has been cheating for roughly as long. She also developed feelings for her affair partner and plans on moving in with him in the near future. To complicate matters further we have a 5-year-old daughter who we are most likely going to split custody of. I will have her during the week and my wife will get her on weekends. If all goes well I will be done with the divorce by early January and can begin moving on and rebuilding my life. My goals are to improve myself and get the help of a therapist and get my daughter into therapy so she can work through her emotions with someone who can help her. I did not get married with the intention of getting divorced. But here I am. My soon-to-be ex-wife has not loved me in a long time and I suppose I was too busy working on propping up a failing marriage to see the red flags. I am just wondering what advice you all may have for me if anyone has experienced something similar. If you have not experienced this but have valuable insights on the process or ways to work through this process I greatly appreciate it. This whole process has me feeling so defeated and broken. Hi everyone, I figured I would give one final update. My divorce has been finalized and I feel exhausted and relieved. I am looking forward to starting the next chapter of my life. This was the longest close to 6 months of my life and I'm happy it's over. I do feel a little empty but that will pass eventually. My ex-wife dragged parts of it out more than needed which was very frustrating. She ended up finding her own place which she was not happy about. She is also pregnant but neither of those are my problem. I have primary custody of our daughter. I get most weeknights and most weekends, plus travel. She and I are both doing well and adjusting to things a little bit. I'm working on myself still and think I have a long way to go. She is talking to a therapist who is helping her work through her emotions and I tried to make the holidays special for her. I want to thank those of you who recommended support subreddits for infidelity. Reading a lot about similar situations has given me perspective on my situation. If anyone is going through a similar struggle, I understand what you're going through and hope you find the strength to do what you need to do. OP, your former partner may become increasingly resentful and might direct their frustrations towards both of you. Devise strategies to navigate this situation in a healthy and composed manner. Seeking periodic therapy might also be beneficial to ensure you maintain emotional balance and clarity. Also, it's undoubtedly challenging for children to be in a relationship where there's significant hostility between their parents. While divorce presents its own difficulties for children, ultimately, having two parents living apart who continue to love and support their children is the preferable choice. Good luck and stay strong. Sweet actual F, my day has not been great. Well I think I can easily say that is the worst day of my life. So I guess a little backstory is necessary. This will be a long one. Seven years ago, I became really close friends with this guy, Josh, at my high school. We had known each other since grade 3 I think, but never really hung out until grade 10. Because stuff. He and I were as close to brothers as is possible. The only time the friendship went poor for a bit was because we both sort of had feelings for the same girl in high school. I pursued her first, I effed it up, crap happens. A couple weeks later they got together. He sort of made me third wheel once or twice, which is why I became pissed at him. Since that unfortunate event things have been pretty great. We both went to the same school, 
and now we live together with two of our university friends. Things were, up until today, going very well. Now in first year I met a girl on his floor. She, Anna, was fantastic, we pretty much had an instant connection. Over the next three years we engaged in the most loving, healthy, and fulfilling relationship I have ever been a part of. We never argued, but debated about things. We could just sit, a be in each other's presence for long periods of time. However, we could also just be silly goofs with each other. There is no reason trying to describe this any further, because the word love in its truest sense perfectly encapsulates my feelings. Josh also had a great girlfriend, and the four of us would hang out often. They had only been together for one year, and hopefully not much longer. So to the incident, it is the end of fall break here. I had to work from 3 to 8.30 today. I had planned to go hang out with Anna after I got off work. When I got home I noticed Josh was the only one there, but I heard what clearly sounded like sensual fun times. I also noticed my girlfriend's shoes were on the mat. I figured she was here to surprise me. What a fantastic girl, I guess not. I go downstairs to my room. To my surprise she is not there. I am obviously confused, and then I hear a noise I will never forget. My girlfriend's orgasm scream is quite distinct, and I have heard it enough to know it. I should say, from about 10 years old to about 14, I was bullied a lot. When I was 12 I started taking multiple martial arts classes, because f bullies. I only had to defend myself once, but after no one effed with me. Well I kept taking the courses and got pretty good, so I can kick some crap, Josh knew this. Well I lose my entire sense of reality and go berserk. I guess they didn't hear my come in. When I literally kicked Josh's door open, they were surprised. The look on his face was actually satisfying because he knew that I was going to hurt him. Her face had no emotion on it. She simply did not know what to do. You know the scene from Fight Club where Ed Norton beats the absolute crap out of Jared Leto. Well I wanted to do that, but I stopped myself. I figured just the knowledge of what I could do to him was enough punishment. Also the loss of his best friend and stuff. Then I just looked at her. We had an existential moment together. I actually felt like we were both being flung in and out of reality for about 5 minutes. I simply just walked towards the front door. He had already left. I picked up both of her shoes and put them outside. I went to my room and grabbed all her random clothes, put them in a bag, and put them at the door. She was in tears at this point. She kept apologizing, saying it was only once and it was a mistake. I told her, in the calmest voice I could muster, to leave and never talk to me again. And that, obviously we were done. I could feel my emotions boiling over. I wanted to weep, yell, scream, and just curl up in a ball and die. That was about five hours ago. Edit, so thank you everyone for your kind words. I am in a lot of pain right now. I told the Josh's GF, she has since ended things with him. I am sad that people still think this is fake. It simply is not. I will update late in the week when things have changed. I have since gone home to my parents for a few days while I figure out where to move to. So it has been a weird week. I have been at my parents' house most of the week. I would just like to say a few things before I get to the new stuff. Everything I have posted has been true. I have been lurking this subreddit for a while now and would never fake a story, just to troll people. Also a couple of people said my writing sounded like something out of a book or movie script. I write fiction for part of my living and have been writing stories for most of my life, so I guess that may have trickled into my posts. I would also like to thank everyone for the kind words. I don't think I even had a chance to read all the comments, literally a lot of them. The comments really helped me deal with things. Okay things that have happened. Sunday, I have spoken to the ex-GF of my ex-friend. She knows and has since broken up with him and is dealing with all of it. Her and I have agreed to stay friends but will be keeping our distance for some time. Tuesday, I have spoken to my other roommates and have told them my plans to move out despite the fact that they are on my side. I just cannot be in that house anymore. One of them also told me that he may have unknowingly caught them doing this a few weeks ago. He was never sure, so he never said anything but was always suspicious. I'm fine with him not telling. He did nothing wrong, because that is a really awkward position. Tuesday night, I spoke with my ex, which may not have been the best idea. I told her how much she had ruined my trust, and how I would never be speaking to her again. She told me she never really loved me, and this was not the first guy. I told her I loved her very much, and that I didn't care if she was trying to make me mad or jealous. She broke down and told me how sorry she was and basically retracted her statements. She really tried to get me to crack, but I stayed strong. Wednesday afternoon, I spoke with my ex-best friend, Josh. I told him we were done. I asked him why he would do this. He said it just sort of happened. 
It started with silly flirting, when he was having some issues with his GF. It quickly progressed over the summer while I was out west. I really don't know how long they were actually doing things, it really does not matter. Today, I went to my psychiatrist, I asked her if it was a conflict. She said it was not. Talking to her was actually really helpful. She thinks I am dealing with this whole thing well. She has stressed a no contact with either of them. I will be complying with this gratefully. My emotions this week have been all over the place. I did not feel anything for the first day really. I have had some really low bits so far. There have also been moments of something that might be considered happiness. I'm not really sure what that even is anymore. Was that too melodramatic? The future, I am considering a few new cities to move to. Canada is great country with a bunch of great cities. The future has some cool stuff in store, hopefully. Edit, guys please. I literally can't handle all the great things people are saying. I'm not the hero Reddit deserved, nor the one that was needed. Also to clarify, I already live in Canadaland, I have the syrup in my veins. Apparently if I go anywhere in this country I am getting drunk with someone so that is cool. I am thinking probably Vancouver or Victoria. So yeah things are still weird, but you guys are helping out so much. I'm back. I didn't expect to be back this soon. I thought I would make a final update when I moved, but that was not to be. So for the past few weeks things were going quite well actually. I was focusing on me. I started getting more exercise. I was writing more. I even entered a slam poetry competition last week. Two weeks ago, I rekindled a friendship with a girl from my first year at school. There was always a little sensual tension, so when I started dating my ex we stopped talking. Well now I was able to have that friendship again. All was going quite well for two weeks. We talked, hung out a lot, got to know each other all over again. I was keeping myself in check though. I told her that I wanted to take things slow for a little bit considering what I just got out of. She understood. Our relationship was established as open, somewhere between FWB and exclusive dating. We did have the ability to sleep with or casually date other people. I told her I was in no shape to be committed yet. She told me that she liked me, and although she had the option to, wouldn't be seeing anyone else casually. Two nights ago, while watching some Dota 2, I received a text from my ex. I have never agreed with the whole block the ex from everything rule. If those advances come I need to be there to shut them out, that's just how I deal with things. It was 2.30 am so there was only one thing this could mean. I stayed strong, told her to F right off, and then I was sort of with someone else. Well she didn't take that well. She threw many insults my way, but it was more funny to me than anything. I have heard from some mutual friends that this last month has not been great for her. At first I was glad. I was glad that me leaving had more impact on her than her cheating did on me. But now I just hope she realizes her errors and gets better. The conversation with my ex gave me perspective. I didn't want to rush into anything with the new girl, Tina, because I was afraid some crap would come up with my ex and I just wouldn't be able to give Tina a full relationship. Well now having shut down the advances of my ex I realized, I can do this. So yesterday I talked to Tina and told her I was ready to be exclusive, but still take things slow. So that's cool. I don't know what this means for me moving. I was planning on moving in the spring. I guess we'll see what happens over the winter. Edit. After some careful thought, and some helpful conversations with people here, I have decided to step back from the whole relationship thing with Tina. I invited her over to hang out tonight, as friends. She was slightly let down by the development, but understands it would be super bad, and I'm just not ready. I think a friendship with Tina is best at the moment. Okay so this update is just a quick one to finish everything off, sort of nicely. So the last two months have been really helpful. Stayed friends with Tina. We hung out at New Year's and messed around a little, but decided that friends is best still. I started having bisexual urges. Started talking to guys online. Gradually moved to digital flirting. It has been quite fun to explore this side of me. I am moving in April. I found a job from April to October in a tourist town out west. Have not spoken to either Josh or Anna is three months now. Life goes on. I hope they learn from their mistake or something, F them. So I guess this is goodbye. I want to thank everyone for all the help. I really appreciate it. I made it through this ordeal a better person. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you really like my videos then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.